Energy. We had a moment there where we all, our body language was kind of bad. It looked like we kind of already lost the game. And so for us, it's correcting that and not letting, we can't have that for Coach said even 30 seconds. So we got to look like we're hungry the entire game. And Coach said you guys kind of had some mental fatigue in the, the last half of the game, especially as a leader on the team. How do you help your teammates get through the game situations like that where, where it is tough? I think it's a place for growth. You know, we have some kind of older players and we have some pretty young players. And Elizabeth's only like a third year. It's only only my fifth year still. Um, so just learning how to stay together and that's keep huddling, keep um, talking to each other because we're all tired, they're tired, they had to travel, we had to travel, and so the mentals were pulling us back and um, just getting outside of ourselves and back into the team. It seemed like um, you guys were kind of hungry coming into this game um, after the game was made by this team last year in the playoffs. Um, like, how do you, um, <laughs> Elizabeth, this side, did they, the size, I know you just played in the weekly, but did the size have anything to, you know, cause any fatigue for you today? Oh, I mean, I, we have to, when you're playing a team like that, you got to do the little things. So we have to box out and be in position. And I think a lot of times we were either out of position or late getting in position, so they could do whatever they wanted inside. How do you guys like playing at um, Hamish versus Phillips? So far, so good. We're 0 one so, you know, we'll talk to that. We played here last year. We played in the playoffs. I think it's fine. We're happy to see the Dream logo on the court. I'm um, happy yeah. to have a two-year deal with them and have a place to play that's still close to downtown so the fans can come see us. What's the biggest lesson from tonight's game? You ruined their home opener. They ruined yours. Um, what's the lesson going forward? This league is too good. Um, every single night, you know, I look across rosters and I'm like, God, this team's good. God, they can be in the playoffs. They can make the finals. And so it's that you can't take one night off, one quarter off, one possession off. This is the best league in the world. And so you have to be prepared to fight every night. One word to describe tonight's outcome. What one word would you use if you had to? Two words, growth opportunity. <laughs> Despite the loss, what can you get out of this positively from the game? Um, it's how you react to adversity, right? We could win games and be happy and cheer and have great bus rides, but how do you respond when you lose, right? How do you do you get in your own head? How do you practice the next day? And so for us, it's it's a big opportunity to see how we're going to bounce back, and that's the biggest challenge of all. What does um, losing to this team do to you all? Oh, oh, I mean, I don't think our confidence is too short. Like she said, this league is really good, and you're going to see a team multiple times. So it's just a matter of us bouncing back. We're going to see them two more times, I think. So it's an opportunity to see them. How do you guys think we could go against Pondas against the Panthers? Not the best. <laughs> I think that possession towards the end where I think we kind of came over and helped and forced them to kick the ball to Young. Uh, we should have done that a lot more. I think there was times where she just took over the game, and that's what superstars do in this league. We've, we've seen Angel do it last year. We've seen Tiffany do it. We've seen myself and E do it. And so we have to stop her and force someone else to beat us. What's it like uh, playing without Angel? It's been different. Every team is different. You know, even when I was with Indiana or this team, every year is different. You rarely do you have the exact same team every single year. And so I think that's just how we're approaching it. Is, we have new faces and different teams. Um, our biggest strength, I think, is going to be being balanced um, and having that kind of 14-15 scoring across the board with getting multiple players in double digits. First quarter, you all were active defensively. Second quarter, it seemed like kind of went away. Was it something that they did? What changed? Oh, I mean, I think our energy went down a little bit, and I think we were doing a good job of turning our defense into offense, and so when we started making Defensively and slow down our offensive line, the whole flow kind of changed. So for us, this is going to be important for, for us to keep the energy up. Okay, um, guys, we're going to have a lot of.